Hey guys, this message really is to everybody. Um, this message is uh, really in actuality for and about Danny Christie. You probably can't see it right now. Uh, maybe he has portions of time where he can't. Uh, but it's it's to everybody. It's an open message. But it's for and about Danny Christie. And we want to tell you, we want to reaffirm with you that our door is open here. I think it will do you good. Uh, I don't really know what's going on with your championship I hope that nothing gets interfered with there uh, I don't know what the mandatories are in the BKFC and all the issues that could come there but I wouldn't worry about it but our prayers are that all that works out wouldn't worry about it isn't that crazy yeah, anybody would be worried about that, now wouldn't they? Of course they would. Uh, but that's not the most worrisome thing in the world. Uh, more important things to worry about than that. Being oneself. I think it'll do you great if you come here for a while, if you're able to. Uh... I really, really do. Um, I keep talking about that because um, I truly believe it could be ben very beneficial to you um, in your recovery process. Now, I want to talk about a uh, little bit about me, just a hair. Uh, those that personally know me know that uh, I've kind of been uh, a, well, especially as I've got older, I've kind of, and when I was young, uh, when I was real young, I was very gentle hearted. And I got my heart broke uh, as I was getting into my 20s. And then I drank for a long time over that. Uh, so I was really addicted to alcohol very badly. And, uh, but I was functioning. I was always functional. Got in some trouble, got in fights and things like that. Uh, younger in my life, but uh, so I know. And I drank for many years. I drank for as many years as some of you are old. Uh, I went 11 years, and I believe, I think, that I drank every single day for 11 years. And all the way through this, I was functioning Fairly, fairly good. <laughs> uh, now, that out of the way, um, I, I guess what I'm talking about is like alcoholism or addiction here. And then it can hit anybody. And it's hit a lot of people you'd have no idea it's hit. People that you, you have no idea. But most of the people, uh, you, you got a couple of classes of people that these things get a hold of. One's just a ruined, bad class of people. They're just terrible people. Uh, they come out, they, well, I won't say just terrible people, but now we've got dogs just going crazy out here in our complex, I apologize for that, but uh, 
uh, you've got a group of people that are not so good, let me say it that way. But the vast majority of anybody that gets on alcohol and drugs, the vast majority, are broken-hearted people. They're people that can't accept the cruelness of this world. Uh, they're escaping the realities of this insane asylum that we live on. And uh, I can't remember where it's in the Bible, but it says God is nigh to the drunkard and the brokenhearted. And I believe somewhere else it says he's nigh unto the brokenhearted. Uh, but it says he's nigh unto the drunkard and the brokenhearted. And of course that would be uh, drunks and then now you got pills so it could be that or other types of drugs and things of that nature. Uh, but it's the same thing. The effects on your body and what's going on with you or addiction levels may be real different, but biblically it's talking about the same thing. So before all you go to rearing down and bringing down champions, people that are the hardest workers in the world, that have these problems. Um, don't be so quick to jump on these these more famous people that have these problems, but when they fall down, they correct it. See, I'm not even so sure I'd call it running to, to run to get help, but they'll run to correct. Uh, reason why maybe I don't call it running to get help is because you're running to help yourself because only you can help yourself. Now there are helpers in that, but uh, the way I look at it, the person's running to help themselves. And when a person runs to help themselves when they fall down, that is a true testament of manhood if you're a man. And in general, it's a true testament, a testament to womanhood if you're a woman. And in general, it's a true testament to uh, good characterhood. And uh, so to all the folks out there that maybe want to, I won't say be judgmental because we are to judge one another. We are. Uh, that's not true. The judge not lest ye be judged uh, has been taken so out of context. We're to be in discernment, which is seeking what's true about people, what's false about people, which in fact you can't do unless you're judging all things around you. Uh, so that text has been taken out of context very viciously, and it's been taken out of context uh, by satanic forces uh, to get the finger pointed stopped at satanic forces at work. So a lot of people need to grow up, get a little educated on these things. So uh, but people should quit to be so jumping on a lot of this uh, folks jumping on or uh, making fun or making light of or making jest of uh, Danny Christie and what just recently has went on and it and can happen with him uh, you need to sit down and reflect upon yourselves and what's going on here. Uh, of course, Danny's not a perfect person, but uh, look at where he is now and look at where you're sitting right now. Think about that. You know, before you put the next internet meme up, demeaning the champ or 
the next snide, snidey remark, uh, the next trying to make fun of someone, uh, you need to think about that. You need to really think about that. You know, if I'm doing this about him, just look at what he's doing now, today. Yesterday's dead. Tomorrow hasn't been born. What you do in that moment, that is living life. And that's what you're judged by. It's what you will be judged by and what you need to judge yourself by. So if you're sitting back and you're on the attack, putting out these silly videos and doing things like that, I would just tell you, uh, sit back and think about, well, look at where I am right now. And look at where he's at right now. Look at what he's doing right now. And look at what I'm doing right now. And if you'll honestly do that, that'll clean your ass up. And you'll stop doing this mess. You'll stop doing it. Uh, trust me, people that have done ugly or they're realizing it. Are you realizing it? Are you realizing it? Do you feel bad about anything you've done? Because you're the one that's doing it right now. In life. In, in the spring of life. We're not talking about yesterday which is dead or tomorrow which hasn't been born. Right now. In the spring waters of life. What are you doing? So think about that. Just think. If you've done some things that are unbecoming, you know, if you really cared about someone's mother, why would you put something up that would demean someone's children? Maybe you really don't care about anyone at all. Right? Maybe you really don't. And if you can't do it out in the open as who you are, uh, maybe you're so weak and pathetic you can't, you don't care about yourself. See, that's all I'm saying. I put myself out here. Heck, I could be attacked. I'm not going to attack you. I'm just putting thoughts out there. I'm not calling anyone out by name. But if I get attacked, I get attacked. You know, I know I eventually will because I know my son's going to knock the hell up out of everybody to a world title. So I know it's coming, so I might as well prepare myself for it now. Doesn't affect him a bit. Of course, if anybody does it to him right now, they're going to be gone offline because he's a child. He's just a boy. See, so I do have some extra protections on this channel which I do talk on which is his channel uh, so if anything gets lifted on us and put somewhere it'll more than likely probably take a couple of weeks but stuff will get drugged down it'll get drugged down uh, I would assume what happens when we assume that things don't work out so much You see, my hands are shaky. Uh, would you attack an old man with Parkinson's disease that's just telling you to behave? Would you do that? Probably so. You sit and attack somebody. You, you claim they're worried. you're worried about their parents, but yet you attack their, their children. Come on. Start thinking here. Start thinking. There's no need for all this drama and all of this. I just wished everybody could get in a room without fighting. And maybe an old man come in there and say, sit down and state your beefs. You've all agreed that the old man's in control. You know, or maybe it's a lady. You've all agreed that she's in control. And you get this mess hashed out and just move on because all this drama ain't good for any of you. And I would say the same thing to Danny. None of the drama's good for him. 
So, salutes to Danny. He's getting, he's working on him, which is very commendable. Uh, I stated the fact of why most people get on alcohol or drugs. They just can't, it's hard to function in this chaotic society. And it's getting worse and worse as the world's getting worse and worse. These aren't bad people. They're not bad people. Some of them are, just like some doctors are bad. Some lawyers are really bad in all these things. Uh, but more often or not, in the past hundred years, uh, when, or more than that even, when people have been, you know, alcoholics or drug drug addicted or what or whatnot, uh, it's because of the evils of this world that they can't handle. Most of these people are more normal than the rest of the people, see. And people need to wake up and start to realize in that. Most of these people work harder than the so called normal people over here. Most of these people have more gentler, better hearts than these people, normal people over here. Most of these people hurt and are, are in grief for the world, children, animals, elderly, disabled, than these normal people over here. So stop and think. Just stop and think. Because most of your asses that go through here and start jumping on these people, that you think you're a normal pe person and you're not a, a pathetic people that walk through this earth and you're so stone cold to it like the Bible said people would be at the end times, uh, the bad people would be, that you're so cold to it, your heart's waxed so cold that uh, you can't even... Uh, uh, all this hurt, uh, animal abuse, uh, uh, elderly uh, people being hurt or hungry or not getting medical, children starving to death. None of this really affects you. You just walk right on with a normal crowd. And I'll remind you, that's the big wide crowd that Jesus said everybody, most people are going to be trying to go through. And he's going to say, I never knew who this person was. I don't want to be in that big, wide crowd. I want to be in that little narrow one. And uh, uh, to you people that are atheists out there, you want to be in a big, wide crowd. Right? Because if you're in the big, wide crowd, you're over there with the people that have brought all the misery and badness on this earth. You, you even want to be in this narrow lane here. You even want to be in the narrow lane. Uh, unless you're a bad person. Evil is over, evil and badness is overcoming good. So if you're a good person, you're going to, even, even if you, 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 uh, uh, don't believe in God, you're an atheist, you're convinced God doesn't exist. You still want to be over here? Or do you want to have some type of decency about you and be over here in the small little path? Not only a damn fool would want to be over here with it in this big path instead of over here in the small one that's trying to be good, that's trying to walk a good path. Is trying to treat others with decency. So, enough's enough. We can get mad, you know, we can do anything we want to do. You can get mad at somebody and you can keep pounding and pounding and pounding and expounding on it and keep going and going and going with it. And that just proves you're the bad person, not the person that hurts you. So, Get over it, walk through it, uh, uh, remind yourself that hundreds of thousands of children watch their parents get bullets put in the back of their head 
in, in World War II and other wars and went on to have productive lives. And everybody grow up. To Danny, I salute you. You've done the right thing. Uh, you are uh, a very strong man. Not so much for in the rain, which you, you are. Uh, but you're, strong, you, you're stronger outside of it. You're stronger outside of it. You're more strong outside of it than you are in it. I know these things. I know what I see. I know what people say. I can discern. You're stronger outside of it than you are in it. You're going to be okay, buddy. You're going to do just fine. You're going to walk on. And all this is, you're going to be old man. And you're going to look back on this and you say, that wasn't so bad after all. Thought it was at the time, but nah, this ain't so bad. That wasn't so bad. So we love you. And again, um, doors open here. We want you to come down. Uh, get some peace. See some new things. And we love you. And everybody that's been so good to Danny and uh, other people that are putting positive stuff up, we love you for it. We love you. We love each other. See, we love each other. And that's what it's supposed to be about. So I will end my old man rambling and going around the block to say two sentences. Uh, I, as I get older, I, I get off track. I talk about this, this. And, uh, it's harder when you get older. You, uh, but maybe, you, maybe you're getting out there some things you need to get out. Uh, and you don't realize it when you get older. So. Older people need to talk more, not not seal up and be silent. So much love to everybody. God's blessings to my Christian brothers and sisters. If you get a knock at the door, make sure it's the real Jesus in this world of false Christ. And it, when you find out it is, open that door and get you some peace. We love you.